everybody. That we're fine to you. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And welcome to the Huckster Hop. It's a shop hop. Is it like a sock hop? It is, but it's hosted by our good friend Patrick at Trusty Huckster Mercantile, and it's called the Huckster Hop. Yeah, so we want to thank Patrick for inviting us to participate. And I think you've already seen Tiger right before us, yep. Tiger's Timeless Treasures. Mm -hmm. And then you can watch us. And then after that, is Carolina Sweet Treats and Pretties. Yeah, so we're one of 12 channels participating and it's a whole long, you know, extravaganza. So I'm gonna post the schedule in the description of the video down below and links to everybody's channels. So here's the breakdown of how this is gonna go, Laura. Okay, you're so good at stuff. Here we go. So each item is gonna have a price and an item number. So if you're interested in purchasing the item, we're gonna ask that you type the item number in the comment section down below. I know that you're used to the live chat and the live sales, but if you're interested, you must type that item number in the comment section down below. We're gonna timestamp those comments and the first person who typed the item number will win the opportunity to purchase the item. Okay, all these items are gonna stay for sale through May the 25th, right? That's Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, May 25th at noon Central Standard Time. Also, we will let you know in the comments down below if you have won the item. So if you are a winner of the items, we're gonna need a little bit of information from you. We're gonna need your name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address, and you can send all of that to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. So now what you don't wanna do is to put your personal information in the comment section below, so please reserve the comment section just for bidding. Yes, we don't want to give anybody your personal information. Okay, so are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Laura, it's a lady. She's beautiful. She is. She's an Art Deco lady. She is, and she's marked Japan on the bottom. Very cool. She does have some crazing that we'll show a close-up of. Yeah, but she's in really good shape. She There's no cracks, no breaks or chips or anything like that. And she's nine inches tall. All right, and she's my favorite thing about her is she's all white, so I think she's very elegant. Yes. Um, okay, so she is $28 and she is number seven. $28, number seven. And then we have some Hager. It's just your style, it's speckled. I love speckled. <laughs> That's one of the things that you look for. This is like eight and a quarter inches tall. Just a single bed vase, and I, just, I love that. I love that tan color. Yes, and it is marked Hager on the bottom, and it still has its sticker. The sticker's a little bit worn, but that's okay. I like it when they have their stickers. Very earthy. Very. And it's $16, so it's a bargain. $16, and it's number 19. $16, number 19. Then we have some beautiful MCM glass. Oh my gosh. This is just your style. I love this. This is a beautiful turquoise color, Empoli style, candy dish, lidded. Very I, cool. I think it's kind of rare to see the ribbed design like that. Yeah, I think so too. So I like that. So this is about 11 inches tall. There is a small little like bubble imperfection on the lid. It's not a chip or a crack. It's just where there was a bubble in the glass kind of at the surface but it's in really good condition. Just a beautiful color. Yeah, you're gonna love that teal color when you see it in person. It's awesome. It is um, $30 and it's number three. $30, number three. Unless Mary Beth keeps it. Dragonware. That's another one of your favorites. I love it. And it has a secret. There's a geisha in there. It's awesome. Is that one of the nude ones? No, it isn't, <laughs> but it is Mark Japan on the saucer. It's just really cool. I love these. And that one's in good condition. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I like the, the little size, and it is $25 okay. for the cup and the saucer. $25, and it's number 17. $25, number 17. Is this lusterware? Yes, it is. She's so shiny. I know, and, and it's really pretty when you look at it up close. Like from a, from a distance, you can't really see all that really pretty color and kind of opalescent kind of luster, but I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. So just a very elegant looking swan, has a sticker made in Japan on the bottom. Very sweet. You can't beat made in Japan. You swans. can't. <laughs> Not for mid-century. Um, okay, so she is $18, Mary Beth, and she is number six. 
$18, number six. So we have another like Empoli style little dish. Oh my gosh, that one's so cute. But this one's not glass, so this is ceramic. This is a handmade piece, a hobby piece. I think it says 79 on the bottom. So somebody made this in 79. That is adorable. Isn't I, that cool? Yes, I'm obsessed with it because I don't know how they did all those little speckles, but it is so, so, so cute and so 70s. Yeah, I think they did a really good job. I do too. Awesome. So we are asking $20 for that little cutie. Okay. $20 and it is number four. $20, number four. Laura, it's one of three genie bottles we have tonight. I think that is like fantastic. I can't believe we have three that we can sell. Yeah, so this one is blue and it stands about 14 and a half inches tall. Now I will let you know that the stopper does not match the bottom design. So this bottom design down here is like, like little buttons almost and the top, it has grapes on it. Just a little bit different, but I think it still works. It still looks really good together. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some things that look so good together, you just, you know, it just really doesn't hurt the value of the piece. I think that's the case in, in this case. Yeah. I think it just looks like it belongs there. Okay, and you said how tall it was? I did. Okay, and it's $45. $45. $45, and it's number two. $45, number two. So look at this really cool picture. I've never seen anything quite like that. <laughs> it really kind of reminds me of Hager in a way. It has that look to it, but this is a handmade piece as well. There's a, like just initials on the bottom that look like, like it says JS. Awesome. Very cool. This is really well done. Yeah. And it really has, it really has that mid seventies, sixties and seventies kind of look to it. Yeah. Right. Just like all the Hager. And look how flat it is. Yeah. Like flat this way. Exactly. <laughs> I love this piece. Yeah, I do too. Now there is a little tiny chip in the glaze um, at the base on the bottom. Very small. You would never see that when it was sitting up. Okay, well it's such a cool piece. Um, and it is handmade, but uh, we are asking $20 for that. And it is number 12. $20, number 12. Laura, is this a cornucopia? <laughs> well, that's what it looks like. Or is it a pitcher? No, it's not a pitcher. But it looks like it could be. Is it a gravy boat? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you should make it your gravy boat. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's a lot of gravy. So this is a piece of hull pottery, pastels. It's really nice looking. It is. It's pretty. I like it. It's very attractive. So instead of mid-century modern, right, that's like mid-century Traditional. Traditional. <laughs> exactly. But it's really attractive looking. I really enjoy the lines, the uh, movement. I really like it. I love the color. Okay, and so it is $22 for this piece, this piece of hull. $22, and it's number 10. $22, number 10. Are you thirsty? <laughs> Yes. Would you I, like some tea? A spot of tea? Yes, There's please. nothing in here. <laughs> I have a teacup and saucer. And that's a pretty one. It's Ainsley. And it's that means it's made in England. Mm -hmm. And some of those uh, Ainsley cups, cup and saucer patterns go for a really high dollar. Awesome. Look how pretty that is with all the gold trim. Yeah, the gold is really awesome. And just like an imperial blue color. I love that. Yeah, I'm a fan. Very mm -hmm. nice. Yep, so we're asking $20 for this one. Okay. But I just love it. It's $20 and it's number 13, lucky 13. $20, number 13. So these are super awesome mid-century glasses. Oh my gosh. Yes, these make me think of mid-century wasted. Yes. <laughs> I love these like boomerang shapes on the side and this turquoise. You don't get any more mid-century than these. I know. I wrote down that they were seagulls, but I don't think they are, are they? And I don't think so. They look like boomerangs to me. Yeah. Oh, I love those. I love these. <laughs> these are so fantastic. And we've got six of them. Six of them. A set of six. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty good number. Yeah. Um, 
And they can be water glasses, iced tea glasses. I don't know if they're exactly highball glasses or not, but they are super awesome. Yes. So we're asking $49 for this set of six glasses, and they are number 20. $49, number 20. And then we have this beautiful depression glass uranium platter. I just love that. I love the shape of it. I, I love too. that it glows. I just like pretty much everything about it. Yes, this is beautiful. This would be awesome with cookies on it or donuts <laughs> or whatever, like brunch. This would be fantastic. Oh yeah, I love this piece. So I will say that there is a little bit of a straw mark um, in the glass here that I'll show a close up of. I do not believe that this is a crack. I think it's a straw mark or some people call that a sheer mark. There's also a bubble or two inside of the glass, but you know, that just happens when you manufacture glass. Yeah, and you can tell that it's been used. You know, there's just like some little, little um, scratching and stuff like that just from where people have used it. Correct. But you're gonna love this piece. It's good for display too. Exactly. Um, so you can have a bargain for this piece. You can have this piece for $25 and it's number 15. $25, number 15. Next, we have a, like a satin glass vase. Laura, I don't know anything about this. You'll have to tell me about it. I know. I didn't know anything about it either, so I looked it up. It came in just like an, an auction lot where we were really kind of bidding on something else. I think it was all green. Um, but I love this vase. It is very bohemian style when they're hand painted like this. It's hand painted and not just painted, but it's enamel. And it's French art glass. And there are several vases, some almost identi identical to this. So I feel comfortable saying it is by the French artist Le Gras. So L-E-G-R-A-S. Okay. Le Gras. And it is very Art Nouveau style. Okay. It means, I think it's from like the early 1900s. Oh, awesome. Um, it, these pieces go really, really high. Um, this one has a, does have a little scratch up under the ruffle mm -hmm. a little bit. And just like with any other satin glass, it doesn't come without its imperfections. You know, there's a little bit of issues here and there with any sort of satin glass. Yeah, so that is just my best guess. Um, and then the, there, there are some, sorry, Laura, I didn't mean to cut you that's off. okay. There are some places here and there where the paint is a little bit worn as well. But man, when you see the close-up of that enamel and everything on there, you are going to see how gorgeous all that handwork is. Yeah. Um, it's not signed or anything, though. Um, so you do your own research and be your own judge on that. Twelve and a half inches tall. Yes, but we're going to ask $175 for this one. Okay. $175. I feel like it's worth two or three times that much. But um, anyway... $175 and it's number nine. $175, number nine. Laura, I have some more uranium glass. More things that glow, I, I love do. it. I do, I have some plates. <laughs> these are awesome. So I have a set of nine of these green depression uranium glass plates. They're great, nine of them. I can't resist anything that glows. Yeah, so you could use these for dessert or for bread or you know, just whatever you want. They're like six and an eighth inch across. Well, they're perfect little cake plates, aren't they? Little, yeah. Little dessert plates. Yeah, these would be great. And again, we have nine of these. Awesome. So um, for the whole set of nine, it's $27. So you get all nine for $27 and they are number 14. $27, number 14. So next I have not one, not two, but three paperweights. It's a lot. It's my favorite thing. It's a lot of something. You love a good lot. I do. <laughs> okay, so this one is just bubbles. It's clear. That's pretty. This one is signed, actually. On the bottom it says Patty Kissinger Prism 01, so 2001. It's like just a little uh, clear paperweight with like a little red blob and a, one big bubble there on top. That's really cool. It is cool. I love that. And this one I don't think is vintage, but it's like a dolphin. Yeah, look, and he's got a little fish in there. Yeah, he does. Maybe, maybe he's a whale. 
Uh, maybe. Who knows? So you're going to get three paperweights. The bottoms of these are smooth, mm -hmm. which that's good. You know, that means pretty decent quality. Yeah. Yep. So you, we're going to give you all three for one money. You can start your own little collection of paperweights. So all three of them are $29 and it's number five. $29, number five. Laura, it's Treasure Craft. Look at these. Aren't they awesome? Yes, George the Antique Nomad wrote a book about Treasure Craft. So yeah, so these are a set of four beer mugs, Treasure Craft. These are awesome. We've actually drank out of these at Flippin' and Sippin', right? I think we did one night. <laughs> so these have like little apples and leaves down at the bottom. Very cool. They have that like barrel design. And of course they're marked treasure craft on the backs. Yes, all treasure craft is marked somewhere like that. And of course you can spot them from a mile away. Once you start finding treasure craft, you'll spot that glaze right off the bat. So these are um, really awesome. I think they'd be really cute. Like if you're having like a fall get together to use these. Yeah. Okay, so you're getting all four of the cups for $29. So the set of four is $29 and it's number 11. $29, number 11. Okay, so next we have like a little lot of blue things. Okay, so we have two Hager vases. And Aren't it's like cute. It's like Robin's egg blue. Here yeah. The color is what gets me with these pieces. Yeah, so one of these has the Hager sticker on the bottom. The other does not. And we're gonna throw in this little item as well. So this is another little robin's egg blue item. It has a lid. You can put your treasures in there. <laughs> you can put your nuts in there. This does have a mark on the bottom that I cannot make out. I do not think it's Hager. It has like this little crackle glaze on it. It's very cool. But it's the same color, so I think they're all really cute together. Yeah, so we put that in there with the vases. And I think this one has one little tiny little chip on it, right? Oh there. yeah, it does. There's a little chip in the glaze, like right here on the back of this handle. Okay, so you're getting all three of these cute little blue pieces for $28. So $28, and they are number 16. $28, number 16. Look at this beautiful purple and poly glass genie bottle. I'm becoming a big genie bottle fan and I've seen quite a few, but this is one of my favorite ones I've seen. Me too. It has like this, these, what would you call these? Like straight lines that are, are just go up and they continue up into the stopper. Almost like pleats in a fabric. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So the top, the stopper up here looks like a prism almost. Yeah. It's very cool. So this is almost 19 inches tall, just shy of 19 inches tall. But this is beautiful. This is one of my favorite genie bottles that we've ever found. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find purple. Yeah, I love this piece. Um, so we are gonna ask $150 for this gorgeous purple, or poiple as Tiger says, <laughs> genie bottle. Um, and it's number 18. $150, number 18. Then we have this beautiful Ellie Smith, like handkerchief bowl, Amberina, awesome. All the things. All the things. All the MCM things. All the words. <laughs> so of course the cadmium on this piece glows down at the base and then of course up here along the edges. This is just a lovely piece. I just love this piece. This probably is my favorite piece maybe in the whole sale, except maybe for the genie bottle, but um, it's just, the color of it is awesome. It just pops just in any display. Um, the shape of it is gorgeous. Love it. Awesome. Yes. So this piece is $42, $42 and it's number eight. $42, number eight. So last but not least, Oh my goodness. So this is a Rossini Empoli Genie Bottle, diamond cut, cobalt blue, beautiful. No issues with this piece, no chips or cracks. This looks phenomenal in the sunlight. That's just, it's just the best. I mean, if you've got a big open window and you're gonna set it up in an open window like that, it is gorgeous. Yes, so with the stopper, this stands just over 21 inches tall. 
and it's just lovely. This would be a beautiful addition to your collection. Yeah, and if you just like want one genie bottle in the middle of all your swung vases, this would be the perfect one to do that it with. It would. All right, Mary Beth, so he is special. We are asking $200 for this piece. Okay. $200, and it is number one. $200, number one. Laura, we did it. We did. We crammed all kinds of stuff into 30 minutes, and I think we did a great job. Yeah, it was awesome. Yes, and so I hope you liked it, and I hope you will stay tuned and watch Carolina's Sweet Treats and Pretties coming up next. Yes, we will link all of the channels that are participating down below, along with Carolina's Sweet Treats and Pretties, her um, link to her channel as well. So, everybody, make sure you like this video. Comment below, everybody. You have until Wednesday, May 25th at noon Central Standard Time to bid on an item. You never know, your item that you want may still be left. That's right. Okay, everybody, make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.